Uh, but what what needs do you have unmet? Oh, you are... Yes, we did lose sleeping. Don't remind me. You can't counsel yourself. So... And then quest. How much time do we have left on the quest? Still plenty of time. Oh, why does this... Oh, we have to attack an outpost. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Jump reading is hard. What can I say? Where is that outpost? I guess I should look. Okay. Outpost of one enemy is 56 days. So yeah, we just really have to store up enough food to be able to walk over there. And it shouldn't be too bad. Um... And what happens if we don't defeat the outpost? Ah, I see. So this... Okay, so by defeating the outpost, we get access to the Silent Neuroformers, which allow us to kind of progress without the help of the Empire, since we've now uh, rejected the Empire's assistance. Got it. All right. Let's... Uh, we're running a little low on food. So let's uh, call the herd a bit more. Is this the first sculpture that Galagos is doing? Well, oh, so much for that. The good news is, uh... Yeah, that didn't make much of a difference. Conver the conversion attempt went from 198%. Uh, she resents the conversion attempt. Fair enough. But the female psychic soothe is doing work for us, so... Good stuff. I like I like what we got going on hunting wise, if nothing else. Oh. Okay, oh, guard is just normal and then attack. Alright. Okay, so the tameness is going up. Is this grown? 73%. Not quite there yet. Anya's having a hard time. The, this mental break, despite being psychically soothed for 16 points, is pretty pretty rough and tumble. Um, does she have... Ah, uh, very neurotic. Got it. That would be the, uh, that would be the issue. Who is, who is cooking for us these days? Looks like Galagos is. Um... No, do not consume the dough. <laughs> Please, for the love of all that is holy, do not consume the dough. All right, we need to cook. A, we need to cut a bit more trees. Let's do that. Nothing too crazy. What's with the thumbs down? You guys need to be buddies. Okay, Valentine can help with the uh, with the cutting of the trees, which is also very good. We're gonna need to build up our food supply a bit if uh, if we're gonna be going on a trip. So let's uh, let's plus ten both of those, so we can get a bit more cooking done. How long a trip is this? Can we... Oh, Colonus needs treatment. Oh, fantastic. Galagos tried to convert Valentin to her ideology, and this led to a social fight. Please stop fighting. Oh, melee level up from it. That's, you know, that's all you can hope for. Galagos just consistently confuses me by not just doing the thing that seems logical. <laughs> just, just 
go to bed. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to make sure that... Yeah, we don't need to use any, any medicine on these two punching each other. They did a lot of health damage though. Anya, are your medical skills really awful? For some reason I feel like you are. Yeah, let's not have you medical right now. Um, Spherling can do that. And you're incapable of dumb labor, so you'll never do that. But you can finish building the monument. Okay. Relationships with the Exodus Empire have improved yet again. Which is weird. We're in a very weird place with the Exodus Empire. Um, oh, who has the flu? Alright, let's... Uh, Let's let you get some better meds. And let's just get that, get the immunity rolling as quickly as possible. Failed while constructing a dining chair is fine. How fast does the flu work through? Oh, cargo pods. Let's check it out. I will I will take the agave plants. Extreme exhaustion. Why are you not Resting. Is your schedule weird? These two schedule is weird. But her schedule looks fine. So okay, so let's check the flu again. Oh yeah, you mouse over this part to get it. Uh... Okay, so the immunity is going slightly faster. But Valentin's going to be out of uh, out of commission for a little while. Where are you going? What is your plan? Oh, you're hauling all of this. I don't know if this is actually worth much of anything. Probably isn't worth the uh, the investment of time running back and forth, but... Hope you get a nice rest on the floor. How are you doing, Bear? Who is our major break risk? See, this is why we need to convert you. <laughs> Because your your ideologian is just ridiculous. No recent conquests, no executions, no slaves, want human meat. There's a lot going on there um, that needs to go away. <laughs> I I love that that is a component of the game that I had not previously that had not previously clicked with me. Right? Is that the religious or ideological makeup of your of your pawns is going to play a huge role in whether you can take them right like i just kind of look at a pawn and i'm like okay you know what is their bio what are they good at but now if you have something like this yeah where they are a supremacist cannibal raider they just are not going to be happy in your colony Wait, why do you need treatment? Is it just the flu that's not treated? No, the, the flu is treated, right? Oh, can 10 now. Sorry to wake you up, but we need Valentin back on it as soon as possible. Oh, 
whose certainty just went up? It's not yours. It must be Anya's certainty that went up because I know she was at 98. Yeah. Okay. Anya has been sleeping for like a month in this in the kitchen. <laughs> um, what's up, Bear? You good? Yeah, you good. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna focus on <laughs> I mean, in fairness, the, the dark combat bonuses were not uh you know I, I didn't think they were going to be game changing. Um, detected steel mining work nearby. Okay, so that's this here. Contains 193 steel. I don't think that's what we need. All right, Galagos is getting up to get his own food, which is never a good sign. Um, we're just lacking person power. I, to be clear, I, I chose darkness out of a, a thematic desire more so than because I thought the uh, the combat bonuses would be somehow uh, would somehow offset the uh, the inconvenience. Um, yeah, I, I do like the the conversion aspects though. Are we we're at sixty five percent of the next conversion? Okay. I'm not sure why Galagos is up and about, but it's okay. Where is Spheron? Are you still pull are you still hauling the agave? Oh gosh, I don't know that I care about it that much. I mean I'm pretty sure you're gonna say I should have taken Dafo. Yep. <laughs> Saw that one coming, Fletch. Mile away. Did we finish our first art project? Oh, a mad doe. All right, let's uh, let's be a little careful here. I'm just gonna forbid the doors for a second while we wait for the doe to come over, and maybe the doe will attack the bear. Really? Be angry at the bear. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give it a moment. If uh, if Galagos gets, uh... I really expected that the bear would attract the ire of the doe. Interesting. Oh, we don't have a research project. Let's get on that. Package survival meals is really good for uh, for if we're gonna be going on a trip sometime soon. Okay, when you're done with that, tend to him. Wow, this flu is taking forever to to clean up, and it's doing a serious number on our medical. Quest expires in seven hours. Which one are we working at? Okay, we don't care about that one. The deserter we got to work on, but we can give it some time. Six-year-old house servant named Moses is calling from nearby. He is being chased by the pirates. Uh, he begs for safer safety and offers to join you at Turtle Haven. Except you'll have to fight off two AMP grenade grenadiers and one smoke grenadier. I think that's going to be a no on that one. Um, we're having a hard enough time with a with a mad deer. Uh I'm still like, why is it not attacking my my guy? <laughs> Glad we have a little bit of food in, in the stockpile, but aren't you hungry, bear? Don't you want to eat the dough? Galagos must almost be healthy, right? Yeah, these are looking really good, except for movement. All right, the whole world is falling asleep. We're going to skip that. I don't think we have what it takes. Is the doe still mad? I think it actually just settled down. Okay. 
Good stuff. We always have the atomic option of opening up the ancient danger. <laughs> so, okay, if I look at factions really quickly here. The Exodus Empire, we've made a little bit of progress with them. Natural goodwill range is minus 50 to 50. Are we not in the minus 50 to 50? Ah, Galagos is fully healed. Hooray. Hey, and the... The bear did the thing that the bear needed to do, which was kill the mad doe, although the doe was not mad, I don't think, at that point. Um, okay, and Galagos being on cooking is fine. That... That's good. <sighs> Keep interrupting my meditations. But the flu is coming back a little bit. Oh, we're out of food again. Oh, we do have a sculpture, though. Um, which we should put in there because it will help with the meditation. Small slate sculpture. Looks creepy. On this carving is a representation of a green pillar of rock surrounded by molten debris. Seven humans mill around uncertainly. There is a gaggle of anteaters far from the main subject. This depiction tells the story of a meteorite impacting near Galago's town on the 2nd of April, 5501. Nice. Good stuff. So I want to try this out because I've never, I've never used a Psy ability. So what does this actually do if I just do that? All right, she gets a little bit of heat. She regains some side focus, but we get some free chunks. Eh, that's actually not bad. And her meditation should be better now that she has the sculpture to uh, meditate towards, even if the sculpture is creepy and in Galagos's art style. Um, oh, we do have convert available. I think we shouldn't do it while Galagos is sleeping though. So we'll wait for Galagos to wake up. Oh, there it goes. Okay, 58 certainty. We're getting there. Wild man wanders in. What is your bio? You are a, a misogynistic miner. All right, we're not going to be we're not going to be messing with you. You're not what we need in the world. In our world, that is. Oh, a solar flare. Microelectronics. Do we start work on that? There's not a lot of things we need here. Um, carpet making, pemmican. No, if we're gonna go for, we just got, uh, we just got packaged survival meals. Um, we could go tube televisions to make sure that we have, uh, make sure that we have enough uh, entertainment options, but. I think we'll go this way instead. So solar flare. That's fine. We we are surprisingly light on uh on that. Ooh, we have a bit more this though. A bit more compact machinery over here that I should pick up. Um because we oh we do have seven components. That's not bad. Uh Valentin. Uh Canton now, tending and Okay, expires in one hour, so I'm going to do that. Much to my chagrin. All right. Back to sleep. How's the corn doing? Pretty good. All right. Barely noticed the lack of energy. How, how warm did it get in here? Not very warm. Okay. All good things. Tons I'm just going to ignore.
Surprised we haven't gotten like a, a ransom option for, for sleeping or anything. Not a ransom, but uh, like a quest to go retrieve them. Sometimes that happens. How long do we have on this? 53 days? Okay. But I guess if we do that, our relationship with the Empire once again becomes uh, troubled. Okay. Gonna do some trees. Gotta get some wood going because clearly we are... And the components will help. We uh, we have a very rudimentary setup. I wouldn't mind getting uh, some light going. Um, Spearling, did you just really just ignore the components? You could have walked back with them. Wait, what's going on? Valentin just went on a daze as I was sending him out. What did I do? Uh, bulk good traders. Okay. There is so much excitement going on here. Um, let's get these inside before I forget about them. Okay, so... This is a decently equipped set of bulk good traders. There is something to be said for the fact that we could crack open the Ancient Danger and see what comes out of it. Um... But let's see, let's see what we're working with here. They have a lot of things. The wooden meditation throne is interesting. Hmm. I mean, we clearly need a bunch of Yorkshire Terrier meat. That's, you know, goes without saying. Um, I'm tempted to let some of our leather go and pick up some more components. Not too many. Um, let's get rid of that and that because we... Wait, are those... Yeah, those are on our side. I, this this interface at times confuses me. Um, we have two package survival mills. They have none. We have a lot of corn we could sell. I think I'll just do that. Yeah, we should get. Do we? What does it take to make dark lights? Standing dark lamp. We could probably deconstruct some of these and go with that. What do they take for components? I should have checked that. Do they take components is more the... No, just steel. Okay. See, we could crack open this ancient danger and just see what happens. Not with Valentin days, though. We've sacrificed too much for them. <laughs> you're, you're taunting me into it? <laughs> Run away! And that right there, kids, is uh, is how you <laughs> decimate a trading party. Okay, let's let's go through this slowly so we can see what's going on. Um, Oh yeah, that's a uh, classic. Um, all right. Oh, they're going to clean up the pods too. That's good news. Ooh, 
who's the major break risk right now? All right, they did they did what they needed to do. Um, I've never seen an ancient danger with a door inside of it. Um, all right, you can. Oh, that's why you were. Oh, there's another one down here. <laughs> Exciting times. All right, uh, let's see. Can you? I just, there's, there's one of these mega scarabs that is still alive. All right, they're taking off. I just need to make sure, oh, wait, they're taking off and Saunders, the policeman, can I rescue you? Ah, uh, no reachable unreserved bed. Okay, this can be for colonists. No, you cannot. You cannot imprison the scarab. Uh, but I do need to get rid of this. Uh, is Valentin still dazed? Yeah. All right. So we do have these cryo sleep caskets. We'll save those for another time. Um, they can contain good guys or bad guys. So... We will try to heal uh, heal this person up to uh, to health again, hopefully. Galagos took some hits for, for how little time he was in danger. Um, Valentin is just out to lunch. I just don't want the spider to wake back up again. Um, to the point where now that you're healed I'm bringing you over here to finish this off Galagos um, I assume the minor break risk is Galagos alright yeah we can't we gotta have him rest um, are you capable of fighting? you are I can't I can't get the mega scarab with the right click, which is very frustrating. Do that. We'll never do hauling. I'm not asking you to haul. I guess if we haul the... Okay, there we go. We just, we gotta get the Mega Scarab dead because if the Mega Scarab does not die, we're in for, in a world of hurt. I know. It's very upsetting seeing all the dead corpses we created. This could take a while. I guess maybe... Maybe we can do better. <laughs> Oh, the Mega Spider has died. There we go. All right. Valentin needs to needs to come back so we can do some hauling. Um, oh, these components desperately need to be hauled. How are you doing now, Galagos? You're really unhappy. Mainly because there's been no recent conquest. Valentin is still... Oh, good, a food binge. Maybe he won't notice that there's a... Oh, no, he's... He's on it. He's taking away the lavish meal. <laughs> All right, the corn is looking good, though. That's going to give us... That's going to take a little bit of pressure off. Um, how are you doing? You don't need medicine anymore, right? All good. 
Okay, good. The components get put away, which is excellent. So now we have 25 components. Food situation is a little sketch. Also, there's this. What is the radius on the steel sar sarcophagus communicating? Not entirely sure. Saunders, no longer capable of walking. No longer incapable of walking, that is. The no longer capable of walking happened slightly before. Um, it's not not to be underestimated that half of our colony is uh, is out of commission. Um, I tried making dusters a long time ago, but uh, we know how that turned out. Okay, this is the corn still has some time. It can sit outside for a little bit. I want to re reduce our reliance on wood because I think we're spending a lot refueling torches right now. But we also don't have anyone to build the standing dark lamps. Our oh, you've detected hunting worksite nearby controlled by the Gorobon Nation. That is very nearby. Um... Oh, actually. Oh, yeah, it's very near. Oh, this is actually super nearby. For some reason, I thought we were here. No, we're over here by the Far Donkey Sea. Okay, so we have 51 days on that. We could pick up 37 guinea pig fur and 131 pemmican. That's not going to be a thing that we're going to bother doing. We just got to get some of this blood cleaned up. After she's done meditating. I don't think we've left anything particularly critical out. I guess the grenades are worth uh, are worth getting. Galagos is eating us out of house and home. I mean, what is your medical emergency? Your flu is extreme, but I can't treat you. You're okay, your immunity is at 97%. You're going to be fine. Oh, good. You're... You've unbroken just in time to break again most likely all right okay almost everyone okay everyone is back under our control what a beautiful day it is we're almost ready for our next convert on galagos the only way that we're gonna stabilize galagos's mood is to get the conversion if we can get the conversion we can do it now we could try a conversion ritual but I think that our room is particularly crappy and Valentin is just vomiting on our on our corn. It's not the best. <laughs> the situation is not the best is kind of my current feeling on things. Okay. A little, little fire. Now there's an inner room here, which I'm very, very curious about. Um, oh, well, we should check our home zone too. I always turn off home zone and then, yeah, we haven't expanded much. I guess that bit there we need to grab. But yeah, auto home zone drives me crazy. So I always do this and then I forget to make sure that things are properly, uh, properly adjusted. That was a traumatic lightning bolt. Um, let's see. Valentin. 
haul the frag grenades. I don't really care about the mega spider corpses. We have no one that's like excited about eating them, but picking up this wood before it burns is good enough. Now that we have some components, I think I'm going to replace this with a uh, an electric stove. Uh, insect corpses here is not what what we need. Um, Valentin could cook though, right? Okay, stop, stop hauling. Prioritize cooking. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're at 88% to convert. Our conversion ritual is going to be really weak. Um, Valentin's doing a good job moving the corpses over into Sadville over here. I probably shouldn't have made this so large. We're getting a lot of, like, walking back and forth across a bunch of dead bodies. Tanza, you're, are you eating my insect jelly? You are. You absolute nuisance. All this, like, the insect meat isn't going to do us much good. Um, I wouldn't mind if Tanza, like, wandered through this door and helped us see what was going on. But let's, uh, let's hold the Glitter World Medicine just so it doesn't get, uh lost in the mix how much was it four glitteral medicine it's not bad i need to butcher some of these corpses though or we're gonna or we need to get rid of them actually that's probably the better idea i don't think we i don't think we have time right now to to bother dealing with them, so I'm just gonna go. This is insect corpses. Important. And then this one here. Also, this rat dead needs to go away, but hopefully that will just shift those corpses over there. Um, I don't. I don't think there was any gear that was worth. No, there's not even any gear worth stripping off of them. We were working on some warm clothes, but... Okay, let's see. Uh, we're at 96%. In two hours, we can try and convert Galagos. So that'll be... That'll be good. Um... I should probably be more frequently using my, uh, my chunk my chunk creation ability um okay let's 0.9 okay let's try converting again 47 we're certainly pissing him off, but, like, I don't know how else we deal with just the monstrous badness that is coming coming from, from Galagos's religion. Um, if I do, if I were to do a conversion ritual, it's a 38% chance. Only Tugas can be a part of it. Yeah, so we gotta wait. We should probably also make some packaged survival meals. Um, just Let's just make sure we have 10 of these. Do until you have 10. Lower priority than cooking the simple meals. Oh, we are... We really need to... Well, we just refueled this, but we really need to replace this with a, a powered stove. Saunders, are you the slowest healer in the history of the world here? We're going to get some good will when we let him go, though. Hopefully. 
Okay, the binge is no longer happening. We are making him work in the dark now, though, which is not great. Uh, can you just do this? There we go. All right. Don't refuel. Cancel. Destruct. Deconstruct. Good try. We have been struggling with construction in a big way. Okay. Cancel deconstruct. He takes the food off in order to put the food back on. Don't think about it too hard. I think the bear can eat the insect corpses if it's hungry. I just want to see if this... Prioritize deconstructing. All right, prioritize deconstructing. There we go. Dark lamps doing doing what they need to do. Uh, but no one's going to automatically do that. Hmm. Tonza, why aren't you going through that door? Wouldn't that be fun? I wonder if I just... Deconstruct this. And then... Tonza's probably going to wander away now. I was kind of hoping he might wander in there and we could find out what was in there. But yeah, he's long gone now. Holy cow, how long does it take to deconstruct this thing? So we have three cryo sleep caskets and a hermetic crate. I don't know if they all operate the same way, but oh, why are you? Yeah, you're still sad because you lost a friend and you have moderate expectations, which we are not meeting. Hmm, burn it, burning passion for your work is keeping you sane. That's something. Okay, the corn is coming in. We have a decent number of rations. Saunders is healing nicely. I do find that the the larger uh, ponds make it a little difficult to see uh, to see the the bar behind them of how happy they are. Um, Kind of a minor complaint, but let's see. And I guess we should probably think about, can I, oh, we can't go there. Um, I guess, I guess that's the best we can do. And then actually we should go along the back edge, I think. Yeah, we can go like that. That's pretty good. That'll get us to this dark uh, dark torch as well. Um, and to replace these with dark lamps. Okay, we're running out of space for storage, to be sure. Being able to sell some of these... Uh, sell some of these daggers would be fantastic. Um... For now, let's just copy settings. Let's grab and make another stockpile zone over here and just paste the settings for it. Uh, just so that we have a place to put more stuff. Um, Spheerling always knows the worst possible times to be uh, doing what she needs to do. All right, but we're we're in relative uh, we're relatively stable at least until the next the next baddies come. Um, Thirty one percent. Galagos' expectations very low. Room impressiveness participants. 
E. 0% out of 40. That's what's hitting us hard, but we're going to have to push it at some point. Um, oh, there's a dead donkey over here. Oh, transport pod crash. Teddy, how you doing? Medical, social, things that we don't really need. Psychically dull, slow learner, incapable of cleaning. We'll at least try and rescue them, I think. Are we out of beds at the moment? We are out of beds because we never made this one. Um, well, when in doubt, it's not pretty, but make a sleeping spot. And now we can ready, ready to rescue Teddy and decide. Teddy Pimp. Hmm. Seems like a nice fellow. We'll see if even in the absence of a bed we can do that, but I guess the bed here we should probably get building. Okay, Teddy, you're not going to get any of that. That was prioritized tending, right? Yes. If Saunders could just skedaddle, since he's really almost healthy and just kind of hanging out. So Galagos... Oh! Galagos and Valentine are rivals. The things you... the things you forget you need to check on. <laughs> We need to start making package survival meals at some point here. Um, but I'm going to let us get our food supply a little stabilized. How are you doing, Teddy? You gonna you gonna make it? Part of the great army. Mind shattering pain. <laughs> Tooltip is simply ah. <laughs> Love it. Okay, Teddy's no longer incapable of walking. Valentin is still doing work and hopefully is going to put out the fire. Hey, can you? All right, I will expand my home area. There we go. I have also let uh, let a tree grow in the way of one of our uh, windmills, but not a big deal. Teddy's going to be just fine. Saunders has absolutely no reason not to be out of here. Skedaddle, Saunders, so I can move Teddy to a, a better bed. Let's see. I think we need to we need to expand the cupboard yet again, just like that. Can you butcher the donkey really quickly? Thank you for the follow, Nonlinear420. Much appreciated. Welcome. Saunders, get out of here. Who's the minor break risk? It's Anya again. What are you doing right now? You're praying. Oh, <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, and I think we're just going to...